this is Aiden's Toy Trove. I'm here today with the Barrera Fest 2017 Bazaar Store Special Runs. The Bazaar Store was the pop-up tent and how that worked was at Barrera Fest, Barrera put out a, an allotted number of each of these each morning and then you, you lined up and you went through in the order of the line and um, you got to pick out one of each so these were limited to one per um, a visit. Um, a lot of these sold out um, I know this one, Navia sold out, Med Hurry the Crystal sold out, and Marigold sold out. Um, I don't think that the plushies, um, or possibly, um, Holly here is, uh, was in the leftovers. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about them. This is number 711265, Marigold. She was a limited quantity of 1,000. This is Lotus. He's number 711266, and he was a limited quantity of 750. He's a 5 inch plushie. This is 711278 Holly, who was limited to 1,000 pieces. And this is the Crystal Med Hurry, 711268 Med Hurry, and was limited to 750 pieces. This is 711277 Navia. She was a limited edition of 2,000. And this is number 711267 Japer, who is a five inch pink uh, plushy elephant, and who is also limited to 750. Now I'm just getting around to opening a lot of these, which is why the video is just coming out now. And I did open Med Hurry, and Med Hurry is broken. So I'm just gonna show Med Hurry to you real quick, and then I'm going to email Briar and see if I can get a refund on her. I know that she was completely sold out, so there's no chance of getting a replacement. But she looks like she would have been so pretty. Her little leg here it just popped off. So there's really no fixing a crystal, which is a bummer because I, um, I have collected the crystals from other years. Uh, and this is a piece that I would have loved to add to my collection. But um, I don't want a broken one. So bummer. Total, total bummer on Mad Hurry. Uh, we'll just put her leg back in there and I'm going to put her away before I get very, very sad. And then we'll go through these guys one by one. And this is Marigold. She uh, is a translucent, uh, the different kind of plastic, not the normal kind of plastic. She is, uh, I believe this is actually painted over color. It's not molded onto her. At least that's what I heard. Uh, she has yellow... Uh, and pink shading, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to get some photographs of her in the light tent, which should show off her translucency, if that's a word, translucency, and better. She has a beautiful, beautiful pattern. Um, I don't know if that's henna or what, but she's absolutely gorgeous, and I wish that I had grabbed more of her. This is our one and only Marigold. Um, the other two sold instantly. Um, like with all translucents, uh, you do see some air bubbles. Um, that's not an issue with me. Um, and again, she was limited to 750 pieces and she completely sold out at Briarfest. She came in a white carton that just had kind of a picture of her and then she was um, tied into it. Uh, and I didn't, she was already unboxed, so I didn't want to unbox her on video. Uh, but she will be uh, reboxed and um, sold as this exact model. So again, this is Marigold, and she is a classic scale. This is Lotus, who is a super cute plushie. He is limited to 750 pieces. Uh, like Briar does most years, or every year that I know of, they uh, put a number on the bottom of one foot. So this one is number six of 750. He's, um, I want to say that this is bigger than previous years. Definitely more intricate. This um, stitching for the Briarfest design is very intricate, very beautiful. Uh, he's black and he has some pink in his main tail and then he has some pink and orange and yellow and purple in his pattern and he comes with uh, his own hang tag. And then he was just packaged in a clear plastic bag. So very, very beautiful, cute, cute plushie. Uh, the price point on this one was a bit higher than I was expecting, $18. But then I took a look at all the uh, the um, embroidering that went into these, and I totally understand the pricing now. So while we're on plushies, this is Japer, who was the uh, 
elephant who is also $18. Um, Briar says that these are five inches. He actually looks bigger than the horse to me. Uh, very cute. <laughs> awesome. Little tail. Embroidery on his back. Briar Fest 2017. And then he's decorated with pink and silver and black. Really pretty. And just kind of out of curiosity, I grabbed my ruler. So we're going to check this out. Let's see here. From the ground to the top of his head, he is just over seven inches. And then if we measure him from hind foot to hind foot, he is just over seven inches. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll measure Lotus, just out of curiosity. Why not? So Lotus measures about nine inches from the, t the back of his tail to the tip of his muzzle. And then he measures close to seven inches uh, from his hoof to the, his ear tip. So these are fairly big plushies. This one is Holly. Holly also came in the plain cardboard box and was an absolute bear to get out. Uh, I'm not looking forward to putting Holly back in the box, but Holly came with this cute little hang tag. Uh, this one is kind of interesting uh, because of her decals, and we'll get into that in just a minute. But I want to give you a close-up look of her. She was limited to 1,000 pieces. I believe there were some left in the leftovers for Holly. Now, Holly is a very warm gray color. I don't think that I've seen the elephant produced in this color before. Uh, what makes her unique are all these beautiful bright decals that are on her. And she does have some pink shading in her mouth. I just noticed that. And oh my gosh, you know, I never noticed this, but she has the black modeling, like little black dark spots on her face. Um, so I did not notice that. And on her legs. Look at that. Wow. Uh, anyway, uh, these floral or whatever we want to call them is the designs are decals and uh, When I first unpacked her she was a bit tacky to the touch uh, Keep in mind these uh, models came all the way from China to Briar and then from Briar They were driven all the way from New Jersey to Kentucky Probably in the heat and then there was the heat of Kentucky and she's been standing in my cabinet for probably about a week And now there is absolutely no tackiness to her finish, but um, I do notice um, that she still has some odd cloudy spots and I'm gonna try to catch these on video like right here if you can see where I'm pointing on the back of her head it's like this little um, kind of hazy film that almost looks like it was a glue uh, for the decal but it is on parts of her where the decal isn't so I'm kind of puzzled and it is quite quite common on all these hollies because uh, I have looked at a lot of them uh, here on her head too you can see that if you can see the little um, line that's kind of cloudy, she's got one there and there, and on the back of her head there. Uh, I did do pictures of this exact model for our, um, our multi-quantity listing, and when you put her under the photo lights, um, these uh, little imperfections with the cloudy marks are more apparent. I, I actually, I missed the cloudy marks altogether. Uh, when I wasn't looking at her under the um, heavy, super bright photography lights. So keep that in mind. Uh, the uh, flaws do appear worse in our pictures than she is in person. And um, again, all the models I've seen have these. Um, this is a bit like um, Australia last year from um, the Pegasus. He had similar markings from his decals. Or, so I, I think really think it's like some sort of glue that's used and then there's residue and it maybe you know it might just wash off I haven't tried um, she's so pretty the way she is so that doesn't really bother me but uh, do be aware that is an issue uh, some have more than others and I've heard some people say um, that they have perfect hollies so there might be some perfect hollies out there but of all the ones I've seen I have not personally seen any without those little cloudy marks and they're not major I just wanted to point them out because I noticed them and she was limited to 750 pieces nope that's wrong sorry Holly was limited to 1,000 pieces and this is uh, the Django mold who was sculpted by uh, Josie Vingerling and was released as the last stablemate club model for 2016 and he was a wonderful bay or black Tobiano Pinto and this one is a translucent plastic um, Django. 
So, very popular mold. He's a Frisian, by the way. And he has uh, green plastic, and then he has pink on his legs and his mane, and he has some pink flowers. Uh, one of the things I noted was, like with all the translucents, he has bubbles. Like the big one, big one in the middle here, um, I think they pretty much all have. I know some people were complaining about that, but um, honestly, I haven't seen any without that. And I know that all translucents have bubbles to um, some extent. I think it's just because this guy's so little that it's as obvious as it is. Here, I'll try to, whoop, my phone doesn't want to focus on that bubble when I have this zoomed in as far as it is. Um, but he's lovely uh, and I'm going to do some pictures of him in bright lighting and hopefully bring out some of that those translucent qualities in him. He was completely sold out. Um, there were none left of him in the leftovers. This is, um, he was limited to 2,000 pieces. Uh, there is currently no regular run or special run on this mold and this mold is brand new so I have a feeling quite a few of these will be customized and um, being the translucent that he is I think he will also be very popular as an original finish. So while there were 2,000 of this one produced um, I think he will hold his value and he came in this little pretty pink um, satin silk type bag. And then he was in um, a little bubble bag inside of this. So these are all the Barfest store uh, pop-up tent special runs. If we put Med Hurry there. My broken Med Hurry. That makes me so sad. Gosh, I wish I checked her at Barfest, but you know, I'm willing to bet she was broken at Barfest and I didn't notice it. Because all these horses got driven back by my husband and they did not get jostled around in the car. He was very careful with them. Um, now, the Briarfest Bazaar also did have some um, attire, like some shirts, some bags, some water bottles, a notebook. Actually, my son got the notebook. Um, I don't know where it is, though. I did not purchase any of that. I was mainly focusing on the horses and, um, and these plushies. So I wanted to make sure that I made a video of these before I packaged them back up because these um, two in the cardboard boxes that they came in, they're a real, real bear with the ties to get them back in the boxes. Um, but this is again this is the only marigold that we'll have for sale so if you're looking at her this is it this is the one you'll get and this is the lovely holly who's so unique i love her i um i wish i gotten more of her i wish i gotten more of a lot of them but that's okay we have plenty okay so that's your Briar Fest 2017 Briar Bazaar store lineup. Thanks for watching.